changing minds, changing attitudes, bring ourselves to live a peace and one, show some love, hold each other's hands, in confidence we'll make the world a better place. Welcome to the Princess Pat Aquavio Show. On the show, we change minds and change attitudes on how you perceive things in life generally. As you know, things are never what they seem to be. On this show today, we will be talking on entrepreneurship, taking up an activity to start up a business. It's not an easy task. The finances involved in it, thinking about failure. And you know some people after thinking about possibility of failing, usually don't want to take the risk. And then you have the other people on the other side of the divide that says, hey, what the heck, I'll take my chances and we'll see how it goes from there. Joining me today to talk about entrepreneurship in the studio is a young lady, a feminist, very charismatic, bold with an audacity, a social and political advocate. And actually, she is an entrepreneur. Welcome to the Princess Pat Akwabio Show, Miss Imabo Upo. We are changing minds and changing attitudes. You are watching the Princess Pat Akwabio Show. Imabo, you're welcome to the show. Thank you very much. You're looking you lovely. Thank you, and you too. Thank you. I love the makeup, the hair. Thank really. you. You look. Thank you. I love it, Imabo. Imabo, let me ask you this question. As a young woman, being an entrepreneur, how has the journey been for you? Okay, you know, um, for women in our society mm. today, mm. we have to work twice as hard mm. as the men. Twice. Try sometimes even <laughs> times four as hard as the men work. Why is that so? Mm. When you come up with an idea, mm. you have a whole lot of people looking down at you mm. because it's not conventional in this part of the world mm. that women can come up with innovative ideas, ideas and you know drive them on strategies. Mm. So the first thing that comes is like oh, they just look at you in a certain way. Mm. So you see, you now have a lot of work to do to mm. prove yourself. Mm. To prove that you believe in what you're doing mm -hmm. and you have what it takes to deliver on it. So it has been tedious, mm -hmm. you know, convincing people that you are worthy of what you're talking, talking about. about. You are capable of delivering on your dreams. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's four times the work. Work that you have to do. Exactly. Now, let me ask you this. What are you doing currently now as an entrepreneur? What business are you in? Okay, I'm a serial entrepreneur. Okay. What that means is I take advantage of time and season. Okay. Okay. I right now see that right here. I know today I just birthed a totally new idea. Wow. And that's how I am. I'm spontaneous. Mm -hmm. What that means is I might I'm going to bed today. Mm -hmm. I don't know what I'm waking up on tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow I might just be faced with the reality of a certain problem that mm -hmm. needs solution and I don't I don't waste time. I jump on it. Mm -hmm. I, I take the, you know the leadership of that and then make it happen mm -hmm. so let me just talk about a product that i'm currently working on okay i yeah, i'm actually working on um facebook advertising wow yes tell me about that yeah so and um i am a facebook influencer from okay. where i'm coming from <laughs> yeah i don't mean to be braggadocious but hey hey yeah hey. <laughs> so, That's all right. yeah so so from my state i'm quite state and mm. at least there, there isn't Anyone, especially everyone who has an Android phone and access to the internet mm -hmm. and doesn't know the brand new map. Mm -hmm. So really, I thought I could monetize that. Okay. Yeah. Since I have a lot of traffic on my uh, Facebook page, page, okay, I have over, at the moment, over 16,000 visible. Okay. And still counting. Okay. Okay. So I have thought of monetizing that. Mm -hmm. I've been a great influence on a whole lot of youth, okay. like women, okay. boys and girls. Mm -hmm. I've been able to influence and impact them to take um, positive actions okay. that can lead to state building mm -hmm. and nation building and at large. Mm -hmm. So I have thought I could also use that platform to shape people's products and brand mm -hmm. in a really good light. Mm -hmm. And so I came up with Ima, uh, Business Smoothie with Ima Bongo. Wow. Yes. Wow. Okay. So, so what that basically means is since I have a whole lot of traffic on my Facebook page yeah. and that traffic cuts across all classes of acquired rights. Okay. The political class. Everybody. All present. Okay. The private sector. Present. Civil servants. 
students, mm-hmm. you know, all mm-hmm. present on my Facebook. And then, so what product are you going to bring that you will not have the audience for? For it, it. okay. All right, I like that. So what, yeah. what gave you that? What what drive that concept? How did you come up with that business idea? Okay, um, before now, I used to run a, an initiative that okay. I called the Home Food Bank Initiative. Okay. Okay, and um, uh, that was coronavirus inspired. Oh, wow. Like I, like I told you, I'm spontaneous. I take advantage of times and seasons. Season. So during the coronavirus lockdown, when okay. we had a total lockdown in Aquaibo State, okay. I knew that a lot of people would be starving. Okay. So they are going to need help and if they don't get help they won't be able to comply to the stay in order they are going to go out there and they're going to put themselves at risk Uh and they're going to put all of us at risk Mm. so then i thought of okay to help people stay at home and comply and stay mm. safe, mm. then we need to take food items to them, to them. because they're not working, mm. they're not earning, mm-hmm. so it's going to be difficult for most families. And so I came up with it, oh, and I partnered with a five Yeah, nice. I just said, make donations to my account. Mm. I gave them my NGO's account, which okay. is Trust Me. Okay. So I now made a food bank initiative, a social intervention of Trust Me. Okay. So I gave the NGO the tra- Traveler Sensitization and Mediation Initiative. Mm-hmm. The acronym for that is Trust Me. Okay. I gave the account of an acquirement from around the world. Okay. The donated from America, from UK, Brazil, Belgium, mm-hmm. you know, and even acquirement. It was our political. You okay. need to see the beauty of it was how we all came together to support ourselves. ourselves. Okay. I and like so, that. Yes. I like that. At that point we were not talking political party. Anymore. At that point we were not talking we so racism. So I'm not from this um my tra- your tribal, from, yeah. you know. No, but we just came together, we were united by mm. the pandemic. Yes. And so people made donations. And that period we were able to share 833 50 kg bags of rice. Wow. That was a lot of money. We were mm. buying between 21,000 naira mm. to 24,000 naira. Wow. So you can do the math and realize how much money was people good. were able to come together. And do it. The pandemic was able to bring all of us together to support each other. Mm. You know. And then even after that, after the lockdown was lifted, mm. I had thought. That is not just enough to give people fishes. Mm. You could go a long way by showing them how to fish. fish. Because I went into the interior, mm-hmm. into the uh, rural areas, okay. and then I saw, I witnessed firsthand the poverty level that is in an oil producing state that, that, that is that is that stinks. Mm. So I had thought, okay, after the lockdown, mm. let's come together and see how we can help people acquire skills. Mm. Already, the coronavirus has induced an economic recession worldwide. Oh, and everybody. So, so everybody is on is on their own. Mm-hmm. Nigeria can't be waiting for America because no. America is struggling. He's struggling as well. Yeah, <laughs> everybody exactly. is struggling. That's right. So we need to come together within okay, okay. us and help us. So I was able to solicit for partnership mm. with um, skilled professionals, okay. and for most of them who were following my antecedents, mm. they saw the passion, they saw the integrity, they, right. they you know they saw the drive. Mm. You know, so they were inspired. I became an influencer. It was like, oh, if this girl can do this, then why can I not? Not do it. All as of well. them came up. They mm. said, okay, give me like we have a fashion designing and tailoring who is handling one hundred and sixty-eight acquired youth as I speak with you. Mm-hmm. You know, and we, we have cake making, we have cosmetology, shoe making. Wow. I was partnering with government, partnering and partnering with government at all levels, yes, yes. partnering with individuals. So these skilled professionals, rather than charge, mm-hmm. you know, these skills you get to pay between one hundred and fifty to two hundred k to get learn these skills. Okay. We have a, a industrial welding and fabrication and all of that. Mm-hmm. But they now say, okay, let's do this. Bring people who we'll train them for free. Wow. And these trainings have been ongoing. Okay. Ongoing. And so we have, I think we have about um, 70 students have passed out from two different skills. Wow. We had cosmetology passed out last week. Wow. 60 in cosmetology. Wow. And we had um, a real estate marketing investment mm-hmm. pass out like um, nine of them mm-hmm. the, the week before last okay. week. Okay. Okay. So you find out that. We're able to come together to to help ourselves during this pandemic. During this pandemic. Wow. So from the onset now, with all the things that you've told me that you're doing, what is actually your mission? What are you trying to achieve for the people of a Bible state? Okay, I have a goal, I have a vision that is um that what that vision is actually um shape prosperity. And I'm gonna explain that. That's the theory that I work with. Shape prosperity. I'm not a party to one man. 
or one woman having 10 billion naira in their account, account sitting down they're doing nothing probably they're keeping it for they're waiting for the next election mm. so they can bring it and try mm. to twist mm. to twist the vote twist the election mm. so one man or one woman or one family mm. is sitting on 10 to 20 billion naira maybe in a store room because most of those money is not they don't even put it put in, in the bag right. because of uh, yes and all that mm. so they have underground storage mm. or they put it in jupiter Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, 10 million families mm. are looking for 10,000 naira to solve a grave need. Mm -hmm. So I'm against that. Mm -hmm. One man accumulating so much wealth mm -hmm. while the, 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 the masses, the masses suffering. are suffering, okay. they are dying. Okay. So that is why I come up with all of this project okay. to be able to empower people to, to, to generate and sustain wealth. You find out that, especially in this part of our quite state, mm. what politicians mostly do mm -hmm. is you they, they give money to the youth. You go to their houses, they give money to, to the youth. And you and, and, they, and you find out the youth are praising them. Mm. What they don't know that they are being enslaved. To continue to be that way. Why hasn't that person given you a job? Mm. Why hasn't that person brought an industry to the state? Mm. Why hasn't that person created a factory? Why are they giving you crumbs? And you go on Facebook and you praise them and you do this. They are enslaving you. They are enslaving you. Mm -hmm. They cannot empower you to be independent because they always want you to keep coming back, back to them. When you are gratefully employed, you won't have the time to go wait on the politician's gate. Mm -hmm. On the way he's stepping out by uh, two, 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 two midday. Do you understand? When you, are, when you wake up in the morning and your mind is, is enveloped with ideas and you seek to explore, That's right. you won't have the time. And it's a strategy in the hands of demonic politicians to continually <laughs> enslave you by giving you crumbs and okay. you're celebrating. Yes. And the ones, maybe the ones who don't give you, mm -hmm. who are looking at maybe um, establishing mm -hmm. sustainable uh, wealth avenues. Okay. You know, they don't believe in coming, giving you 5,000 every day. Mm. And you say those ones are stingy. Mm. So would you say that with what you're doing right now, it's not going to give us what we call that entitlement attitude in the sense that a lot of people have to, especially the youth, they have to get up and go and do something. So basically your mission right now, from what I want to deduce from what you're saying, is to get our youth gainfully employed, get up and do something for yourself, stop having the entitlement attitude, because at the end of the day, the Politicians are just all for themselves. Exactly. That's the that's the mission. Okay. Don't wait on the government to do because you may have to wait all your life for that. Start with what you have. Okay. How would you say the journey has been for you so far? Would you consider yourself to be successful? Yes, I've been successful. Okay. But you see, all of that um, success has been on account of hard work. Okay. It has never been handed down to you. You know, there, okay. there's been a whole lot of work, a whole lot of processes okay. involved. Okay, yes. so how did you get these people to actually accept to be involved in what you're doing? I mean, you're telling me that you're doing things without different kinds of people in government. You're just not looking for only government people. You're going to private people as well, asking them for help. How could you possibly convince them, especially from this side of town, where people will say, it's not my sister. Why should I be involved? You're telling me to go and help somebody. I don't even know the person. How have you been able to convince them? Because I know it's not easy to convince these people. Yeah, you know, initially when I... I wanted to start with the whole Ibo food bank donation, mm -hmm. you know, I was like, and you know, I, I just use my Facebook page, I don't, it's not like I pay for advertising anywhere, okay. I just use the Facebook page, I make a Facebook live video, uh -huh. and I start making posts, mm -hmm. so I was like, what if they don't just answer, mm -hmm. what if they just say, ah, this one, that, that is supporting a governorship aspirant in APC, mm -hmm. in the PDP dominated state, States. what, what if they don't just, but then I said to myself, I better feel at the field mm. that Just fell it. right where I'm I'm, sitting. I'm I'm trying to incubate the idea. Gotcha. Okay. So if I go out there and fail, it's my failure. Mm. What have I got to lose? <laughs> and so I started. Okay. So like these skilled professionals who decided to partner and train people, mm -hmm. they were following the process. Mm -hmm. They saw you know when there is transparency in what you're doing. I mean you don't have to come and talk too much. People just see the and they enjoy it. And they know. That's so they were inspired okay. by the things that I, I was doing. Mm -hmm. They were inspired. That's why I said I became an influence to so a whole lot of men oh. and women. Influence them to take positive and impacting actions. So they were inspired and they were like, okay, if this is 
them little that I can also contribute, then so be it. Be it. And so one little from one corner, another little from another yeah. corner, and that is how it has been. been. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, we've been talking to Miss Imabel Obo, an entrepreneur, a young girl, per excellent, very charismatic. I'm sure you can actually see that. Now, Imabel, let me ask you this. Outside what you were doing, as a girl child, and I want to refer my question particularly to girl children now, what do you think a particular girl child can do, or I might extend it to the male children as well, can do in this particular time with the pandemic to cut off dependency on a particular paymaster in this season with the pandemic and do something else and be positive? A lot of people say, I do not have capital, but you forget that uh, 2000 is capital to start a particular business. What else as an entrepreneur would you suggest to a girl child so that they won't depend on men giving them money or having to sell their bodies to give um, money out for food or for clothing? Okay, so inside everyone there is a passion. Now your passion might be different from mine, mm -hmm. but first and foremost you have to key into, you have to identify that thing mm -hmm. that you are most passionate about. Mm -hmm. Passion is very important because of um, in the journey, on the journey to success, mm -hmm. it's not a, 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 a bed of roses. Of course, there are a whole lot of challenges that will come, frustration, disappointment, mm -hmm. setbacks. Mm -hmm. And so if you're not passionate enough, mm -hmm. you're going to withdraw at the slightest challenge. Mm -hmm. So it's your passion that will keep pulling you through, mm -hmm. making you find a way through the challenges. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's that. And then again, the girl child you know, the ladies, the teenage girls, the mm -hmm. ladies, you find out that in this social media era, where everything is about make-believe, mm -hmm. where everything is about validation, seeking for validation, yes, our priorities have shifted. Mm -hmm. What that means is, some money, many years ago, the monies maybe a typical young girl would use to start a business, mm -hmm. Because of peer pressure, mm -hmm. because I want to feel like I uh, belong, mm -hmm. because I want to put up a picture on Facebook, then I'm all right, right. you know, because I want to put up a picture on Instagram, mm -hmm. the our priorities have changed. Yes, right. So the money we would have, the money we would have used as seed mm -hmm. to sow for our future, mm -hmm. we are eating it. That's right. When you eat your seed, you're heading to famine. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's right. But, but when you sow it, mm -hmm. you are sure of right. harvest. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So so please. Really, um, at, at the end of the day, you have a couple of less because you just did a beautiful picture. But then what? After that, what? Nothing. You're still faced with your house rent challenges. Mm -hmm. You're still faced with your school fees challenges. Mm -hmm. You're still faced with money that you needed to start a business. Mm -hmm. The other day, a lady sent me an inbox. She said, I need 20000 to start um, baking buns and all of, of oh. that. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I went and checked her, her profile. Mm -hmm. I don't give out such money every okay. now and then. Mm -hmm. But the first thing I need to go to your profile. And find I, out. I went to her profile. Mm -hmm. And there's somebody who is looking for 20,000. I saw the kind of hair she makes. And the kind of clothes she wears. Mm -hmm. And I just said to myself, this one is not looking for, for money. money to start business. Yes. Because if you're looking for Things are never what they seem to be. Changing minds, changing attitudes, bring ourselves to live a peace and one. Changing minds, changing attitudes, bring ourselves to live a peace and one. Show some love, hold each other's hands. In confidence we'll make the world a better place We are changing minds and changing attitudes You are watching the Princess Patapatio Show with 